A teenager kills his classmate with a single punch but won't face a single criminal charge. That's because new surveillance video, so graphic we can't even show it to you, shows the boy who died started the fight. And now many of you are asking, is this justice? Well, here for a fair and balanced debate, we have defense attorney David Schwartz and former prosecutor Remy Spencer. All right, so let's get right to it. Um, you've looked at this video yep. uh, surveillance, and they're taking a look at this law enforcement prosecutors to see right. what if, in fact, any charges should be filed. Right. Lucky for the defendant that the, the, there was a video in this case mm -hmm. because the video clearly shows Kimberly that it was self-defense. Okay. He used reasonable force to ward off the attack, and unfortunately, a tragic accident took place. Sometimes there are just tragic accidents and you can't explain it. Okay, so reasonable force is the force that they can deem necessary to protect yourself, person, or property. You're absolutely right, Kimberly, but the question here is, should this juvenile be prosecuted for the death of another child? He was pushed by this other child, he was started a fight with him, but then he, the defendant or the suspect started punching him. He landed the fatal punch that caused his death. He should be prosecuted for fighting, for disorderly conduct. This happened in school. While school was in session, that typically elevates the offense. The the, the fact that he didn't intend to kill him doesn't mean he shouldn't be prosecuted at all. That's true. Tell some, tell under why she but, might but, be wrong. but yeah, because both <laughs> kids. But what you yeah. didn't say was both kids wound up. They mm -hmm. were like this, mm -hmm. and and actually the 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 person who died, his punch missed, and then the defendant's punch connected. And what you're referring to is yeah. the uh, the person who died. Okay. Yeah. He the the victim in this case was actually what you're trying to say is the aggressor. He was the aggressor, and he used reasonable force, and that's why the authorities saw it. But that when way. a teenager tries to push another teenager, there's no reasonable expectation that he's going to die at the end of that fight. Look, this was a tragic accident, but the state should prosecute this juvenile for at least the fighting in school. Well, that's an administrative remedy. So maybe the school should take action against him. But, but as far as will. But a the criminal justice is system very, yeah. is very serious. Um, as you see, I mean, differing opinions on both sides of this. Two fantastic lawyers, David Remy. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you. Always a pleasure. A Fox News.